you all. I am so proud to represent the Grand State in the United States Senate. Thank you to everyone here who put your name on the ballot and ran for office last month. To everyone who is running for office in 2024, we are all so grateful for your courage and your service. Thank you. Congratulations to Chairman Buckley and the whole New Hampshire Democratic Party team on another fantastic event. And as always, I am so pleased to be here with my husband, Billy. With my daughter, Stephanie, and my granddaughter, Ellie. And it's always good to be here with Chris and Annie. Good work on George Santos. <laughs> Along with Maggie, the four of us have worked hard to bring home hundreds of millions of dollars for infrastructure, child care, housing and food assistance, substance abuse treatment, and so much more. Since the pandemic, your federal delegation has brought home to New Hampshire over 17 billion, with a B, dollars in COVID relief alone. I am proud of that effort and the difference that it's made for people in this state. And of course, we're so excited to have Hakeem Jeffries, um, the House Democratic leader, to address us tonight. Thank you for coming. As you all know, New Hampshire is no stranger to visits from rising stars like Hakeem in the Democratic Party. Bill and I remember campaigning with Jimmy and Rosalind Carter when he was just Jimmy Who. <laughs> This week, we lost Rosalind, but I will be forever grateful for the example of public service that she set, not just for First Ladies, but for women in America and all across this world. Now, with your help, I've been through some tough elections, and through each and every one of them, the people in this room have stood with me. Your dedication, year after year, election after election, is the real power that is driving the New Hampshire Democratic Party, and I thank you for that. Together, our shared values our combined voices and our collective votes have made New Hampshire and the entire country a better place to live and raise a family. But the 2024 election promises a stark choice between the values that we share as Democrats and the beliefs that are espoused by MAGA Republicans. As Democrats, we believe that hate in all its forms, from white supremacy to anti-Semitism to Islamophobia to anti-LGBTQ discrimination is wrong. And we should all stand up and say it is wrong. It has no place in our communities. And yet, time after time, we see MAG extremists make excuses as their candidates espouse racism, sexism, and bigotry. As Democrats, we believe in democracy, in voting rights, and most important, in free and fair elections.
Yet, the MAGA crowd has turned election denial into a requirement for every candidate in a GOP primary. As Democrats, we believe that background checks are a small price to pay to keep hospitals and bowling alleys and schools safe from gun violence. Gun violence like we saw in Lewiston, Maine, and right here in Concord, New Hampshire. But here in New Hampshire, Chris Sununu vetoed red flag legislation and made it easier for violent criminals or the mentally ill to buy guns and assault weapons. And while the MAGA cult admires autocrats like Vladimir Putin, and they would walk away from Ukraine, Democrats believe we must stand up to terrorists like Hamas and dictators like Vladimir Putin and the Ayatollah wherever they are found, because we know that everyone, no matter what country you're from, what your race is, what your religion is, we know that everyone deserves to be free. And as Democrats, we believe that women's health decisions should be made by women. Not by Supreme Court justices or politicians. Now, Republicans didn't just reverse Roe. They didn't just pass an abortion ban in the state house. But they're proud of it. You know, Chuck Morse declares himself the key architect of the abortion ban. And Kelly Ayotte led on a national abortion ban in the United States Senate. Well, we can't afford that kind of leadership. America faces a choice next year, a choice that has severe consequences. But despite the stakes, I feel good about our chances. Because looking around this room, how can we not feel good? I see the activists, the volunteers, all the candidates who are already working to make a difference. So let's kick off 2024 by writing in Biden. By making our very first New Hampshire primary, the nation's first primary, the very first victory for the Biden-Harris campaign team. Let's send Annie and Chris back to be part of that new majority in the House that makes Huffington and Jeffrey speaker. Let's put New Hampshire on the right track with a new governor and executive council that respects women's reproductive rights and with majorities in the State House and Senate that are ready to deliver for working families. So thank you, everybody. Let's give Hakeem a great New Hampshire welcome when he comes out.